Hey everybody, Sam here. And Angela, and welcome to our channel. Welcome back to another video from our master bedroom in our 1988 Palm Harbor single wide mobile home. And today we are going to continue on, well, this room. And for that, Angela has already named the game for today. She already said, nope, this is what we're doing, which is... We are going to be prepping the walls and fixing the wall behind us to insulate and then drywall in another video. So today is wall work. Let's go. As some of you may have noticed in our video that was put out last, there are some holes in the siding on the wall that we've been working on. We are aware of those. Many of those have been filled in with clear Lexail caulk, but some of them have not. So we're gonna put Gorilla Tape on the inside to kind of seal up that hole. It's only gonna be a temporary fix as we are looking to reside our home in the near future. So. We're getting that taken care of. We don't want anything to get messed up with what we have done so far. And next, I'm gonna take my oscillating tool and I'm gonna trim up some of the drywall that kinda of got torn around the edges and probably get rid of some of the little staples just to, again, prepare the walls for drywall. Does that need to go in or out? This is about to get dusty. Hang on, wait, wait a second. Yeah, you're right. Dust out. Ready? During the demolition and removal of the drywall and insulation, I discovered that in the area where the bathtub is and the electrical wire runs around it, which by the way is how it was originally, we didn't run electrical that way, there is an area where apparently the wire has been nicked or cut in the past because someone wrapped it up with electrical tape. That's a no-no. So we're going to fix that no-no by removing that entire wire section which runs from one outlet through the wall around the corner and to another with a brand new set of wires and that way we are going to be safe and everything is done properly. We put in this two by whatever, really crooked, so we may have to add something at the top of it.
I have all the electrical done. As you saw, there was that horrible tape job. That's totally out of the mix. I went ahead and did new wiring for the whole run, installed new boxes, and stapled all the wires down. I also beefed up the outlet switch in our bathroom that was mounted to a 1x4, so blocked that up, and that is really, really strong now. What'd you do? I trimmed up where the drywall we weren't able to totally get out, and I went ahead and took all the staples and little brad nails, nails, anything that was holding up the drywall or molding to the front wall, and I cleared it off so it is ready to have insulation, drywall, that type thing put on top of it. Nice. So all of our walls in the room are prepped for drywall? Almost. Yes. And now we're ready to start on this wall. Yes. This is by far the most complicated wall in our bedroom. This is the wall that's shared with our kitchen. On the other side of this wall is our, our stove rests. We have cabinets on the floor and the wall. We also have an over the range microwave mounted. So structurally, this wall to me is not built strong enough. I've got a stack of two by threes that we're going to use to shore this up, strengthen it up and make it stronger. And then I've also got some electrical work to do. As you can see, there's quite a few wires coming in here. There's two from the exterior wall that comes across to an outlet in the bedroom. And then from there, we also have a light switch for our bedroom that's also on this wall. In addition to that, we have two outlets for the kitchen. One's very close to that light switch for our bedroom, and the other is up higher, and that's where our over-the-range microwave plugs in. By far the biggest annoyance of this wall is that it is only two and a half inches thick. It is framed out with two by threes. Well, okay, mostly one by threes. I've taken some time to look at the possibility of reframing this out, making it thicker, and therefore giving us a lot more room to work with, and I just don't see that there is a great benefit versus reward on the work that would be involved. By far the best thing I would want to do is beef up and thicken the other side where the kitchen cabinets mount, but I can't add any wood to that end other than what we're planning to do sistering to help support the cabinets. So in the end, I think what we're going to be doing is the best thing for us with the situation. Again, we're trying not to do too much project creep. We've already renovated the kitchen. We don't plan on touching or damaging any of that drywall, and we don't want to just lump ourselves back into a ton more work. So we are doing what works for us, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You've got to love how creative they were when they did circuitry in mobile homes. Here is the light switch for our bedroom. But there's three wires coming in. So you've got this box here with three wires, all piggybacked off of the outlet that's down at the floor. So the first thing that I want to do is label all of my spaghetti wires. We've got three coming to the light switch just for the bedroom, another three for the outlet, and then of course the various ones for the things in the kitchen. I'm not gonna to touch the kitchen boxes, but the ones here in the bedroom, we'll go ahead and take apart and get the wires out of our way so we can frame everything up like we want. Then we'll drill new holes and run the wires when we're ready for that part. So first thing is to take this mess apart a little bit. We're going to go ahead and disassemble several of the wires in this wall. I'm pulling out the one from the kitchen outlet. We want to get these wires pulled out and out of the way of all the framing. That way we can come in here, fill up what we want as we want to, then we'll drill the holes and rerun it. We're going to go ahead and remove this one by three. It has pretty much been shredded. It's trashed, but to do it safely or carefully, delicate demo, we're going to use the oscillating tool and kind of get behind the drywall right here to separate it from the kitchen drywall so we don't destroy it.
All right, I got an issue here where the header of the doorway it needs to be pulled in, and I've only got one hand free, so I'm gonna show you a trick that I watched. I think it's RR Buildings, another YouTube channel. Put a screw in like that, then you can take your hammer like this, and if you pry, pushes the pressure this way, makes them flush, and you can drive this other screw in. Perfectly flush. Now I can just take this one out and use it for the other part. So what I'm going to do next is just add some 2x3s pretty much to every single one of these 1x3s. I'm not worried about it going all the way to the ceiling. Remember none of this is load bearing, at least from the roof. I'm just going to set it on the bottom plate, put it right beside, flush it up, and attach them. This will just give us more strength and a better surface area to attach our wall cabinets and base cabinets to and just give us a better wall as best as we can get. Well, we're at the stopping point for today because it is the end of today. However, I feel pretty good about what we got done. Mm -hmm. We got all the walls in here prepped for drywall. We did a lot of work with electrical. I cleaned up a lot of the wires, ran the new wires here where we had the frays, installed our boxes, and looks good. For those of you who don't know, whenever they put in electric and mobile homes, all of the outlets are floating. Yeah. meaning they are not attached to a stud mm -hmm. so anytime we have to redo a room we have to put in electric boxes mm -hmm. and that type thing we've added like house electric boxes to most of it but mm -hmm. they too have been floating so yeah they're all all residential boxes yeah and that's just the way bubble homes at least of this vintage are built this is a mm -hmm. 1988 model so that means yeah we run wires and i staple them and I staple them a lot because I like the wire runs to look nice and neat and clean and parallel. So, whatever. It looks great for whoever sees it right now, at least. One of the things that's kind of huh, about today is if you really come in here and look, you can't really see what we've done. Like, you wouldn't notice. But taking out all the staples around the whole room from the drywall and just fixing the electric, it's one of those things that I don't know. It took a day to do, but you can't really tell. True. Well, I'm glad you were here for it. That way you know that work was done and nobody was <laughs> slacking off watching YouTube right. in the corner. No. So, what do you think about the wall? As I think it looks much better. It looks legit like a wall now. It is definitely stronger. Um, when we did the 2 by 3s and we kind of swapped them out or put the new ones in, Angela would go in the kitchen and she would do new screws through our cabinets into the fresh 2 by 3s So that's great. Everything's locked down and I feel comfortable and happy with what's there now most definitely we didn't really get to the insulation today but Darn. that's okay because i'm not itchy <laughs> <laughs> that works maybe i'll come in here tomorrow well no you'll be with me i was about to volunteer to do insulation but come on let's not get crazy we may we'll get something done oh yeah definitely well we definitely reached the part of ready to cover up our walls pretty much insulate and put the drywall up so that's great. It is. 
very good accomplishment, good milestone. We're done with in the wall work. Well, thanks for coming along as we did this work. Maybe you learned something new. <laughs> if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Otherwise, we'll see you guys next time on the homestead. See you guys. Bye. Oh, what's that? Even though we're neck deep in a mobile home renovation, don't forget we are a homestead channel. So there's a sneak peek of something else that's been purchased that we'll show you guys in due time. Wow, it's like a nuclear winter out here. Camera doesn't know what to do. Oh, it got you. It's up on my face right now. What is that? It's hair. It's like, sorry, you I don't know. I was outside, I'm like, well, it's the neighbor on a mower, I guess. I don't know if you guys can hear the noise in the background, but that's Isaac playing in his bedroom with Legos. The bedroom's empty, but he's got his Legos in there, so. Sounds like me trying to start the lawnmower. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's Star Wars. It's always Star Wars themes with him. We're gonna go ahead. <laughs> Just throw it off. Hang on. <laughs> Sorry. He just keeps going. He does. He's in his own little world. We're going to go ahead and... <laughs> <laughs> Things that just needed done. I got a bug on my face. Come on. I knew it was a bug. I feel like crawling up my cheek. <laughs> Gosh. I tried to bear through it, but I knew I'd talk too long <laughs> to stand it. So since we de-attached everything from the drywall and the molding right here in the kitchen. I'm gonna go ahead and use our wireless brad nailer and attach everything again. That should have it good and attached so we won't have to worry about it now.